In this video, I'll show you how to use Word Moodle. Word Moodle is an add-on to Word that enables you to make questions for Moodle quizzes just using Word. Now, this can be a good idea if you want to collaborate with people that are not familiar with using uh, Moodle on how to create questions because it's a lot more user-friendly using Word. Also, the editor can be uh, easier to use for most people. And especially if you're making sort of a lot of questions, it can be a very good idea to use Word Moodle because um, you can easily copy questions and make uh, small changes to duplicate questions and things like that. And especially like putting in equations, uh, you don't need to use to learn the latex and tech because it will use the equation editor on Word and just convert those. So let's uh, do an example of a simple uh, question. Um, let's take a numerical question. So I click the numerical button and it'll put in a template like this. It is a numerical question type. I can give it a name. If I don't give it a name, I'll just auto-generate one. And then I'll put under question text here, I can put in my question. Um, what is um, 2 plus 3? Okay, this is a very simple question. So normally I don't want to put 2 plus 3 as a math box, but let's try and do that anyway. Like this. Because then you'll see that this gets generated into LaTeX code. The answer is just placed down here, 5. You can put in some general feedback if you want. You can, also, you can simply delete this if you don't need it, or just leave it blank. Um, yeah, you can put in hints if you want to use the interactive of multiple tries quiz type. Um, and I don't want to put in a second answer here. And I'm not going to need feedback either. Let's try a, another type of question, a closer question type. And so what is the capital of Denmark? So in closer question types, say uh, you have to put in some code where you want the, uh, the answer boxes. And to help you do that, there is the closer builder up here. And so I want a short answer type in this case, and the correct answer is Copenhagen. And let's put in another one here, which won't give you any credit. I'll slow and I give some feedback for that. So that's in Norway. Okay, that will then generate the code for that type of box. So now I have two questions and I want those into Moodle. In that case, I'll just click the export to Moodle button and then it will generate two questions. I can just preview the questions here. I can also see the file that will, gen build, will be generated and here I can save that. And I'll just save that file. And then I'll go to Moodle. And okay, your Moodle will probably look different, right? But I'll go into the question bank and go import. I'll drag and drop my file here. And yeah, click import. 